Ranked on Apex Legends has gotten a lot more difficult and it's not just you. The number of players even in Platinum and above are within a 0.05 to 0.1% threshold and it's crazy to know that it's not even at 1% in some areas. This video here is to help you improve your aim and take you to that next level with an aim lab. The skill set required at the top levels requires a specific skill set most are not comfortable with. Today's playlist with an aim lab will help you master your ranked gameplay. The new playlist is linked down below in the description but keep watching for my breakdown on how to make the most of it. Scenario 1. Star Track Precision Most targets are going to be crossing an open field at a considerable distance. Close range engagements only happen once you create an opening. This is why Star Track Precision is so key as a fundamental to improve your aim in ranked and create that opening. You need a stable aim hitting a small target and maintaining a smooth track. Scenario 2. Micro Star Track Precision The next step to this equation is ensuring you can control recoil and land shots at a distance. Most individuals in ranked will not land shots at a distance, but it's so important to ensure because you want to avoid or create the following. It ensures the team does not run up on you, you maintain positioning, and of course, the last point, you create an opening to claim positioning. With micro star track precision, your goal is to learn to have refined control so you can tackle any recoil pattern that gets thrown your way. Scenario 3. Wave Click Large While it is important to have a stable track, one major mistake is clicking too hard on your mouse, where you lose the momentum with your aim, or you lose that smooth track and or target switching. This is where Wave Click Large will teach you to maintain your shot. You need to be efficient. Imagine you're in game and you click so hard, your wingman shot just goes off and goes a little crazy. You need to be able to maintain a clean follow-up shot to do additional damage. The more damage you deal, the more successful you'll be in maintaining strong positioning while in ranked. Scenario 4. Multi-Shot Ultimate One issue with ranked is individuals crumble under pressure. You get too nervous and your shot just goes everywhere. This is where Multi-Shot Ultimate is going to be your best friend. In this scenario, you're going to learn to maintain a clean steady shot, while the pressure of that specific target getting smaller, which forces you still to maintain speed. Some tips is to listen to music, breathe, and learn to keep a cool head. A calm demeanor and focus on what you learn from Multi-Shot Ultimate to help you create better comms as you now have a stronger mental capacity to focus. Scenario 5, VCTNA Tense. Now what this does is going to take that pressure up a notch. What Apex Legends feels like is shooting ants. Your targets will be small and it will require precision, but the pressure as a target nears you, you'll need to maintain a steady pace. VCTNA Tense is a perfect exercise to help you master this. Scenario 6, VCT Split Wall Peak. One thing that Apex Legends players lack at higher ranks is knowing how to cut angles and peek. Peeking is how you sneak in your damage but ensure you don't take damage back. If you have two batteries and eight cells, while this seems like a very strong inventory in Apex Legends, two cracks will either remove both batteries or all your cells. If you have to hold two zones, losing this much inventory is just not acceptable. It's why as you peek, you need to ensure you land your shots quickly and efficiently and peek back behind the wall to minimize damage. The skills that you learn in other games, be sure not to forget them as you improve on Apex Legends. This is why this exercise in aim lap is so crucial and part of the fundamentals. So I have a question for you all in the community. How do you feel about the rank changes? I want you to comment down below. The Amalek community is one who I know puts in the time, but have they gone too far? Some pros think they have and some pros think they don't. What do you think? So what we covered today here are six scenarios that cover the essential skills to improve in ranked. Skill set that is constantly overlooked. Also subscribe here on the official AimLab channel. Check out the description for everything AimLab where you have a library of resources at your fingertips. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.